still not there entirely but uh, I'm getting there so I mean just a brief overview of these systems we got support these are armor blocks we here we got our missile launchers um, that's this is supply storage this is more support this is your bridge all actually these four hexes so you got the main bridge I guess we have two bridges and the crew it's bridge and crew and so this is a bridge with crew stuff and this is another a separate bridge and crew there there's two separate things um, this is our hyperdrive we've got uh, lasers and our engines so <coughs> we want they want us to armor this up and they're not gonna have us do much with it so they want us to add three pieces of armor here so we come over here, we got different sections here. We got control, weapons, propulsion, defense. That's what we want. So we need to just go and put on three. Let's go and put on four. Now those armor doesn't count towards interior space. So I can actually wrap the whole thing in armor, but it's gonna make it more expensive, it's gonna make it heavier, therefore slowing it down because apparently what is it? Uh not hyperdrive speed but acceleration. It does the math on thrust versus mass. So we have a thrust to weight ratio there. Um, so the heavier you are, the less effective your thrusters are. You'd have to add more thrust to get the same acceleration. Makes sense. Um, Sim, are you still there? Have you been following? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, as best I can, you know. Yeah. It's I know you can't see, but I'm trying to describe things as well as I can. Yeah. I think, you know, once I see it, I'll, I'll start to make connections to what you're saying about it. It'll be better than just going in blind. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Now they want me to add a bulkhead, which is a modifier, so you can actually modify existing systems. This bulkhead, apparently, um, they want it to, increase, to go to one of the guns to increase its health. So essentially, what that did was uh, let's go ahead and minimize this so you can see the effect. Uh, keep your eye over here on the right hand side. You'll see the health of the particular hex go up, and then also, um, let's see what else. Oh, uh, what it does is it does. That's that's what it was. It's not. We're gonna be. We'll see the total health of the ship go up to. Yeah, that increase. That increase total. The, the total ship health, but that hex goes up. But not only that, you can see a standard hex by itself is currently has a health of nine. Okay, we put it in this bulkhead. It goes up to forty on the on the hex that has the bulkhead. All other hexes in the area go up to 22. So that gives it a significant um, health boost. It makes those guns quite strong. Um, so they can take a lot more damage. Now it's only on that side. It's not affecting this one. It's only for that one subsystem. So if I dropped another one in. Boom. But that increases the cost. So that hex. Now actually every hex is 2k per rather than the 1k. Um, so yeah, that's that's expensive. Um, and so it does that for everything. Uh, we can save the design. I'm going to save it without that. And constructing a new fleet. Okay, 
Okay, so we want to create a heavy carrier. And if you highlight that carrier and then build some support ships, it'll go on and add it to that fleet. Now here's one thing it doesn't explain that I learned. Uh, all these support ships, they're useless on their own. They can't control themselves, so you can't just send out a few gunships. They, ha they act in as a fleet. Uh, and so you need to have a flagship, uh, one of these, either battleships, heavy carriers, or dreadnoughts, or if you design your own flagships, that's fine, they just need to be classified as flagships. And, those, and they'll have a control area that uh, supports that. You can't put, oh, uh, Klinical, I was not, uh, I didn't see that, uh, I'll go back and I'll show you. No, you can't put it on, uh, on the weapon itself. You even can't block it, you can't put it in front of it, uh, because you have, uh, you have to have your firing arc. So anyways, they want me to add some beam ships, let's go ahead and add these beam ships. There's ten of those. Add some more of different types. Uh, now, this can only support so much, so if I kept trying to add... Actually, we only, we're only we running low on money, actually. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to add too much more, but I could make this a gunship heavy one. And that's fine. That, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Uh, as soon as our cycle goes over, though, which it should... But we can always add ships later, too. That's fine. Um, I'm going to run back over to design just to show you that. Um, this is a different ship, obviously. But, uh... There, it gives me an actual error. Uh, but there was a way to show... There's your firing arc. Um, so, see that, that just doing that uh, shortens my arc. Doing that blocks it off entirely. Um, we can't open it up more, apparently, and like this, that even, that blocks it off a little bit. Um, I don't know. No, that's, that seemed to be the same. They got a little eyedropper tool here, a move, which allows you to... Not really sure how that works. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, so yeah, that's essentially how that works. We don't need to save any of that, though. It's just showing you how that works. So it's... It actually built that fleet. And it's already done with everything. So we now have... Well, that fleet is kind of weird and cockeyed. That's... <laughs> actually built everybody and if I wanted to add more I can <laughs> that's fine um, water freed up their water
so I can let these guys build up. And then give them... Oh, actually, thinking. They have a water place, but again, it needs to be... Yeah, it, it still needs to be in the development. This has a little bit of volcanic. So I actually can't build on that volcano. Hopefully we'll develop these two squares and I can place it right there. But I can live with 120 also. That's that's doable. That's 110. So that's actually only minus one square. And it, it'll move that uh, city. And it'll just go... That city will go somewhere else. So if we just get something... Um, but okay, artifacts. Particular resources in your empire will produce energy. This represents massive quantities of stored energy that you can transmit and use to activate ancient remnant devices scattered across the galaxy. We detected a power cell in the Zaste system, which we can equip to upgrade our new fleet by spending energy. Select the power cell and click the equip button on the bottom left or select the artifact from the quick bar on the top right. Yeah, so they haven't actually pointed these out, but we have these quick bars on the on the right here. They give you a lot of information. Like right now we actually have I guess something has is over pressure. Somehow they have a defense uh, a defense base. I'm not sure why they would have that, but they do. And so that's pressuring them. That one... I don't know why that's putting six pressure on them. Imported pressure. We're importing water. That shouldn't give us too much pressure there, but... At any rate, um, here we have our, our artifacts that are available. Now this power cell increases the target fleet's effectiveness by 20%. They want it on the new fleet. You can conduct uh, diplomacy by spending influence points generated on your planet by a particular resource found throughout the galaxy. These points are used to purchase and activate diploma diplomatic actions. All empires purchase their diplomatic actions from a shared list on the diplomacy tab called the influence stack. That's this right here. And you'll see that there's a timer here. And so these cards will rotate. Uh, it'll push out the oldest cards and bring in new cards every 30 seconds or so. Uh, at regular intervals, new cards are added to the right side of the stack and cards will drop and disappear from the left side. Diplomatic actions become cheaper to purchase the longer they spend in the influence stack, but be careful of waiting too long to buy attractive cards. Other empires may snatch them up first. We want to see what our enemy, the Zuzio, is up to in this region. So we go ahead and purchase this spy. And then to activate it, we just go ahead and click on it and activate. Now it's going to cost four influence, and we have influence right up here. We actually have a lot of influence, so that's okay. Uh, it'll last for five minutes, and it has an upkeep. Okay, it's going to lower my influence generation by 20% while we're doing it. Okay, that's fine. So now we're spying on them. <laughs> 